Hi everyone, Lisa here and today I'll show you how to do this Indian headdress canvas. So here's what you're going to need. You'll need a canvas, you'll need some feathers, uh, you'll also need a printout of a skull which I just printed off from the internet, a hot glue gun and some glue sticks, some ribbon, some watercolour paint and some paint brushes, craft glue and some embellishments for, for the headband and some acrylic paint and scissors. So first up we're going to do the background of the canvas. Now I wanted like a sort of vintage dirty look to this canvas so what I did was just made sure that I had a lot of water on my brush and dipped it in some blacks and browns and then just let the paint drip. It's a little bit hard to show you as I'm doing it but yeah basically just keep adding on your colour dipping your brush in the water and dipping it in either a black or a brown or a grey and rubbing it over your canvas and then just letting the paint then drip in whichever way it's going to. And just continue to add colour and letting it drip until you get the desired pattern that you are happy with. What I did here just to make it easier so that you could see what I was doing and I'd be, still be able to get the drips is I just propped up the canvas on an angle and then continued to add colour uh, to the canvas then it would allow it to drip down naturally as well. So cut out your skull fairly close to the edge going all along the outside of the image. Next what we're going to do is start preparing the headband. So I'm just taking a strip of ribbon. This was a ribbon that I no longer needed so I was just using the black side of it and just measuring out the size of the ribbon I would need and just basically, I mean if you can find some decorative ribbon that you're happy with using as it is you wouldn't need to do all this step but I only had sort of plain black so I just wanted to make it a little bit fancy with some extra red and pattern ribbons stuck on top so I just used some PVA glue to stick the other coloured ribbons on top of this black band what I'm doing here now is just preparing the little decorative piece that goes on the side of the band. Now I didn't have the colour that I needed so I just used a bit of acrylic paint and just painted over it. I think in the end I wasn't quite happy with the colour of this red. It looked more like a coral colour by the time it had dried and with the silver showing through. So I think I ended up going back over it in like a gold metallic paint. Now before I stuck the skull onto the canvas, I just dipped my brush in the dirty paint water that I um, was using and um, just dabbed over it just to tone it down from being so stark white and black and just sort of gave it a more of a dirty vintage look that would match the canvas. So I was just basically using the water itself just to give it a bit more of a dirty look to this skull. Now once that's dry, what I used here is the PVA glue watered down with a little bit of water obviously just to make it a little bit of a runny texture and I've just glued it on and smoothed it out with the back of a credit card and then set that aside to dry. And once that's dry, we're then going to go over that again with the PVA glue mix. What I'm doing here is just trimming that band up and then I'm also going to trace a line where the band is going to finish just so I know where to start sticking my feathers. 
next step is to start sticking the feathers on. So what I did here is I just used a layer of black feathers and I've just roughly spaced them out to see where I wanted them to all go. Once I was happy with how they looked, then I just used the PVA glue to stick them on. And just repeat this process using the next row of feathers. And then once I've finished doing that main layer, then I started moving inwards towards the skull. So my next layer of feathers were the white ones and these started going a little bit closer to the skull to create that layered effect. Once you're happy with the placement of all the feathers, then use your hot glue and stick the band down over the top of the feathers, covering up all the edges. Once your band stuck down, then stick the decorative piece on the side. And I also finished it off with a beaded decorative trim on top as well. Now what I did here is just stuck a few studs on the outside of the canvas art just to give it a bit more decoration and that's it that's pretty much done now hang it up and enjoy Well, I hope you enjoyed this video guys and it gives you some inspiration to do a canvas art of your own.